John, your fin. How the heck did that happen? Um, got an audition and called from my agent to audition for this secret, big, massive movie. Found out it was Star Wars. <laughs> you don't know a thing about me. What I've seen. We all need to run. Hope is not lost today. We must face them. Fight them. You sure you're up for this? Hell no. Whoa! And here we are. You might have gotten this, but you actually talked to us about two years ago for The Force Awakens about the whole audition process and, of course, that big, iconic cast photo. I was actually on a train coming back from Tottenham and my agent, Femi Oggins, called me and, and said to me, oh, we've got a, a big opportunity for you to, to go in and uh, meet with JJ for the new Star Wars movie. But mind you, weeks prior to this event, I had been putting up, you know, putting friends on tape for the role and I'd be behind the camera reading uh, as the other character while they auditioned. And so I was like, okay, it was my opportunity. And uh, yeah, the opportunity finally came. I was just ready to get going. I look at that picture and I laugh because, you know, they take pictures like that and they release it with this kind of like monumental historical vibe. Number one, my script was back to front and me and Oscar and Adam were talking about like food or something. And it was good to know that that, that was like a genuine moment that they shared. And, now it's like, you know, historical is the first time they saw the cast. But I felt like I was in the midst of family and we're about to go on an incredible journey. This is new to me. I was ready to do one thing. So I'm looking at the trailers multiple times. But I've got nothing to fight for. Sometimes I watch it randomly just to start the day. Come on! Come on! There are stories about what happened. This is a, an insane experience, and I'm so happy to be involved. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 what? What? I'm not going to do this whole introduction to Hollywood stuff and do the whole, yeah, it's a great opportunity to be part of it. No, 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 no. I'm going to show the people I'm excited. I just can't wait to see the movie. I'm dying as much as everyone else. Come on, Kylo Ren. So uh, it's, a great, it's a great way of connecting to the fans. And this is the first Star Wars movie we've had during the social media era. So it's, it, was, it was cool to share that personal moment with everyone. How do you go about preparing for a sequel like this one? Like, is it physical training? How do you get back into the character? Well, there's physical training, um, and at the other aspect of that, we have to trace back uh, to Force Awakens, create a link as to where your character is and where your character is going. Um, but great thing is, we got a rehearsal with this, um, which is only what you get with theatre, which, which is strange. So yeah, a bit of a treat. It was nice. Uh, we were in a room with like, you know, almonds and cashew nuts in the, in the middle of the table with water because you know, everybody was on a diet, <laughs> except for Ryan. Ryan needs to work on his walkie sounds. <laughs> Ridiculous. New director, I can't even just learn a walkie sound. And then uh, we were just all chatting about the, uh, the story and breaking it down. And obviously this is a difficult film to talk about because of what you can't say. But what is your current best reaction face to when people ask an obviously leading spoilery question? It's intimidating. It's that face right there, it just stays. And fans will be very excited because... <sighs> Holly, Holly, I mean, you can't tell the fans exactly what happens. Stasis. Yeah, that's it, poker face. <laughs> Man, I'm imagining a Star Wars onset poker game. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let the Wookiee win. Intense. That'd be good. Please explain to me the Adam Driver hugging thing. Um, I'm gonna try to make Adam Driver just happy, you know. Let the past die. Um, because I think when he's on set, it's Kylo Ren. Kill it. Just the dark side of the Force likes to just, you know, capture him sometimes. And I feel like my hug just, it just 
balances add them out. Um, it's a medical thing that we have sorted out. I get paid to do it. Cool. Yeah. And I hate hugging. Like, I don't, I don't like to hug anybody. Also, would you mind explaining to me Peanut? Oh, Peanut is what uh, myself and Daisy call each other. Um, I actually call her that because of her head. And she calls me that because she thinks I'm adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I love your guys' relationship and yeah. I was really hoping there'd be another rap or a dance for this film. Can we look forward to anything in the blooper reels maybe? There might be some stuff, but it would be me and Kelly doing some stuff because we're so separate in this film. That's what's a bummer. If we were together, there would definitely have been some form of a, uh, a rap and, uh, you know, Daisy's my client, making it big. <laughs> so, there would be something. One day, yeah, she'll get so, that. One day, one day. Would you say you would be, and this is a bit like lateral thinking here, friends with Finn? Because he has, without giving oh, yeah. away too much, he's changed a bit. Yeah, I would. Um, I, I'd be friends with Finn in episode eight. Seven, I'd be like, nah, man. Yeah. Because seven, you're too hot, man. And we could be, you know, going to the cinemas and then, uh, you know, stormtroopers are trying to kill you and kill me just because I'm with you. Sure. Nah, I'm all right. You don't want any of that. I don't want that. That's not for you. I mean, obviously, with all the merchandise that surrounds these films, where is the weirdest place you've seen your face? A Volvic water bowl. Do they surprise you? Do you go into like a shop and it's go? It's really on something that gives people sustenance. That that to me is like that's mad. Like, that's water. Like that's we all need water, and that's my face is right on that water. That's mad. <laughs> Do you have to stop yourself from drinking from your bottle? I haven't seen my bottle in real life, but I've seen my friends go. Why are you on water for like we? <laughs> Got like a H2O thing going on, like, what's going, <laughs> what's going on? It's very on brand for you. It means balance, you know? That's, that's what it means. That's why I relate to it. I like it. What have been your biggest pinch yourself surreal, is this really happening moments since Finn became part of you? It was the first few times I started getting on first class flights consistently. <laughs> you, know, you know, there's always that buffer moment where you show them your boarding pass and they either give you the first class face or the yeah, the economy one, yeah, gets the back, like cow. You need a pilot. I need a pilot. <laughs> so, when I got the first class face, I was actually quite surprised. I was like, wow, they actually paid for it. This is living. Yeah, this is all right. I can stretch out my legs and turn it into a bed. It's all right. I love like it's not like meeting the princes or, <laughs> you know, being on a stamp. It's like first class. No, that's, the, that's, that's mad, you know, like consistent first class. That's living, that's, yeah. That's spoiling someone, though. That would do something to a man. And when you look back to the roles you had before this, how did they prepare you? Or could nothing prepare you for how your life's changed? Oh, they definitely prepared me. I mean, the, the, being on set and filming, it has a, it's a technical understanding that you need. Mm. And uh, I was new to that from Attack the Block. And those movies are the, are the ones that you know, prepared me for this. <laughs> Yo, check it. What, bruv? More. More what? Them things. And this is still preparing me for something else, I believe, you know? Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. There's another thing in the future. Oh, hopefully. I just want to keep on working. What would be the thing that's bigger than Star Wars? I don't know what's bigger, but there's benefit in doing something different. Um, so I feel like Star Wars helps you prepare for those moments, you know? It'd be fun. When you finish movies like this, I imagine you get given some gifts, or maybe you take some. What mementos have you brought home? Um, I, I got a, a stone from the new planet crate from Last Jedi. I got the red, a red stone, just one. Uh -huh. Should have grabbed the whole thing, because honestly, I just like keeping merchandise like that. Because you are, I think, probably as nerdy as I am. He signed his action figure. Right here. <laughs> what is the geekiest thing you have in your house? I have a uh, Millennium Falcon, I have a free monitor, PC set up. I have a <coughs> manga, a PlayStation, a place seat, car seat. <laughs> I just have uh, electric scooter. I got rocket, I got rocket boots. Well, not rocket boots, they call it rocket boots, but you have to use like a portable <laughs> thing to move on it. I got mad stuff, man. I'm so in the Star Wars world, I was like, yeah, John's got rocket boots. I even got an Excalibur sword. What? Deal with it. That tops it. When fans see you in the street, what do they typically say to you? Oh my gosh, you're so tall when we see you in real life. That's not what they say, mate. They, you, they, they're normally just like, oh, are you Finn from Star Wars? Sometimes I say, no, I'm his twin brother. Uh, that's the one we have issues. But he's a good actor though, right? Yeah, he's okay. 
have fun with him sometimes. <laughs> he's okay. Yeah, he's all right. I imagine you'd got for a period quite a few traitors. Raider! Oh, I, um, yeah, I have uh, premiers. I get a lot of people calling me traitor. Traitor! And you're like, huh, thanks. I'm like, ah, oh, that's it. Big deal or traitor, that's the two of them. Yeah, oh, that's good. You should know, I'm a big deal in the resistance. And tell me, honestly, tell mm. me you'll still be the same old John with your first class stuff and, you know, you're in loads of other big films as well now. You ever shoot anyone? I didn't do it. This is our time, this is our chance to make a difference. Are you still the same old John? No, you know, I'm, I'm scheduled to switch up by the 15th of December. Definitely gonna give in to more of the ego thing, be an asshole, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so glad. It never gets you work. I mean, I've, it's, I've been, I've, lived longer as myself than I have in this world. So it's, I don't the problem is not anything to do with me. It's just trying to get used to the whole, the whole thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking obviously Royal Albert Hall for the Royal Premiere yesterday. So royal. Maybe next time, Peck and Plex? 3.99 tickets. Yeah. Morley's on the side. Yes. Jollof rice for the after party. Because I was hungry yesterday night. Uh, I can't lie, all these finger food, man. I'm, you know, I thought there was gonna be like a, you know, like a like a handout from Peck and Plex. And the joy of Peck and Plex is obviously you can hear the other film next door. Exactly. At the same time, so that's well, money that's for money. Two for one. Two for one. Your ears can hear the other film and they can watch the one that you're actually in. Senses. It's like an audiobook. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering if you could give younger John any advice, mm -hmm. pre Star Wars John, what advice would it be? Uh, just uh, keep on going. I just motivate myself a lot more. Um, but then again, I, I done what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know. I just think, yeah, I just think I'd, I'd rest more as well. Definitely tell them to rest more. I, yeah, you're right. It's all going well so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I'd be like, rest, rest what, up. You never know. Yeah, why tweet perfection? Yeah. And I get the impression, and stop me if I'm wrong, that you're absolutely loving this. Dude. It's hard at times. There's a balance of both, but mm -hmm. most of the time, I'm having a swell time. Oh my gosh. I'm literally shaking, like this is insane. I told you you were in Star Wars. <laughs> it's not a bad job, and it's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I'm surrounded by a, a cast that's fun mm -hmm. and that give you energy whenever you see them. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, Thank always. you, John. Have a good one. All right, mate. Thanks for watching. For more, check out my BBC iPlayer show if you're in the UK, Movies with Ali Plum. Otherwise, just don't forget to listen to me on Greg James's show on BBC Radio 1 every Thursday at about quarter past six, where you can hear the very latest movie reviews from yours truly. One.